hello and welcome once again to Bell to Bells, your women's wrestling wire. I am Mr. Warren Hayes, and I am joined today by the uh, the magical girl herself, Yuka Sakazaki. Yuka, hello and welcome. Hello, it's very nice to see you. And sitting there as well to make sure that the interview goes off perfectly uh, and we're able to translate everything that is said here today. Once again, joined by Mr. Haku. Nice to see you again, Mr. Haku. Sorry, it's not Mizuki. It's Mr. Haku here. <laughs> well, well, we'll pretend. We'll make believe yeah. that it's her. Um, Yuka, it is a pleasure to be able to talk to you, to talk with you today. Thank you very much for being here. B- before we talk about wrestling, I, I you started training in comedy right uh what what why did you start training in in comedy to begin with um あと動物と戦ったりとかそういうのを見てそれ楽しそうだなと思って芸人に同じ事務所にはい養成所に行きました。So mm-hmm. first there's this uh, comedian, very famous comedian called uh, Ayako Imoto. Okay. She goes to jungles all over the world and like befriends or wrestles like wild animals. Okay. And she's, she's a big thing in Japan and she wanted to be like her so uh she uh, decided to work in the same uh, comedian professional agency, the management okay. company. Yeah. yeah. So Yuka wanted to go wrestle animals. What what would have been what would have been the animal that Yuka would have wanted to wrestle? I Komodo dragon. Komodo dragon. Okay. They're because they're big and yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> So, Yuka, what made you decide to pursue professional wrestling then? あ、DDTプロレスが、あの、夏、うん。so DDT does a beer garden show every summer where we surround the ring with tables and we serve food and alcohol. Of course, not during COVID. So everybody would get drunk inside and outside the ring. Okay. She wanted to watch that and she was like, wow, this is amazing stuff. So she just on the spot went up to President Takagi and said, I want to wrestle. Oh, she was, you were there as a fan. You were there in the audience. Yes, in the I, I think she was uh, passing out flyers. So, so she was in a band at the time also. Okay. And she was passing out flyers for a live show at the event because the band included some members of DDT Pro Wrestling. Ah, okay. What was the name of the band? DPG. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's, it's, you know, technically it's a band, but it had a whole bunch of pro wrestlers and comedians. Sure. So, you know, it was weird, but it was called DPG. Yes. DPG. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, um, now now you are in wrestling, a, 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 full, a full-blown pro wrestler. We call you the Magical Girl, right? Uh, and, it's, uh, and it's a very fitting nickname. What, uh-huh. what, how did you come up with that nickname? おお、キュー。アラジン。アラジン。アラディン。ノジニ。Yes、yes、ジニ。オッケー。私好き。はい。私好き。He and um, you have a very distinct style as well, as far as wrestling goes. What wrestlers do you look up to, or what wrestlers inspire you? 
Eddie Guerrero. Oh, Eddie, Eddie Guerrero. Guerrero. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Inter- very, okay, cool. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, i 上手すごくプロレスも巧みだし、うん、あの可愛い,い、うん、ファン。So uh, Eddie Guerrero is very technical, skillful,、うん、cute,、うん、and fun to watch. そうそう。Yes, I I agree. I agree. I even even I think he's cute. So there there you go. So yes, absolutely, I agree.、Um, and、uh, well, you've had a very Good career so far. You've wrestled both in Japan and in the United States as well.、Um, do you feel that the interest for Joshi is,、uh, is growing in the United States? Do you feel like there are more and more fans of Joshi? Ah, Mm-hmm. So she does feel that compared to just a few years back, a lot more Joshi wrestlers are、uh, gaining notoriety and、uh, being recognized a lot more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and do, you feel, do you feel part of that group of the, that you are being recognized as? Uh, more and more in the United States? Yes, and she's very happy that a lot more people sing along to her entrance. Yes, yes. We remember, we remember a lot of that, that kind of stuff. That's fantastic. What is, well, what, seeing that you have wrestled in Japan and in America, what do you feel is the biggest difference between wrestling in front of a crowd in Japan and in front of a crowd in the United States?、Uh, Japanese fans, eh, to, to, the Japanese fans focus on the match a lot.、はい、And they're very focused. Okay. アメリカのファンはあの楽しみながら見てる<笑> ?And the American fans, you know, they watch the match too, but they also enjoy being there and express their fun. で、リアクションが大きいから。Sure. And, and then they react a lot, you know,、はい、more、yes. and bigger. テンションが上がります。So it helps her get pumped up too. She can easier to feed off of the crowd. Sure. Do you, do, you, do you prefer the, the, the American way? How they, do, you, is that one, do you prefer that as opposed to Japanese crowds? They, they both have their allure, you know, the Japanese fans, you know, the American fans. She enjoys being in front of both types of crowds. Well played. Good, good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Um, you,、uh, you participated uh, earlier uh, this year in the AEW Women's World Title Eliminator Tournament, came back to North America to wrestle in the finals as well, then later back in July at Fighter Fest. And you could tell the AEW fans, right? They were thrilled to see you again. Do you have plans to come back to AEW for a, a longer period? She would definitely love to be back and have you know, as many matches as possible, you know, be in tournaments or in other settings. Regardless, she just wants to be there and have a lot of matches there. Okay. And I'm sure, I'm sure the fans in North America would love to see you again. You know, I think you've, you've developed a, 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 quite a following with AEW, so that would be great. Well, well, I, I, <laughs> there, <laughs> um, Let's,、uh, let's talk about the,、um, the PWI Women's 150 list.、Uh, you've 
ranked on the list this year. You're at uh, you're at number fifty nine. Congratulations, that's fantastic. The um, about half a dozen Tokyo Joshi Pro women are on the list, which includes, of course, you. What do you attribute uh, that success to? うん。<笑> She thinks two factors. One, uh, our streaming service, Russell Universe. Okay. Right. Mm, right. Um, it's made it a lot more easier to access Tokyo Joshi Pro Wrestling, even for international fans, especially with our renewed service, which is completely English ready. And, uh, you know, and we're giving away four months for the price of one right now. And a lot of people have joined to watch Russell Princess, too. So that's one reason we have the platform. And then uh, secondly, she thinks that uh, the Tokyo Joshi company ensures that every character stands out and that they are different mm. and that we don't have like multiple wrestlers that are similar and of the same character. A diversity of styles and of character work basically yeah, yeah. you know that's very good yeah i agree i agree but it does stand out stand out there do you uh, um because like yeah there's there's about a, a dozen of those women on the on the uh on on the list so that's quite remarkable um now you got a good part of your career has been focused on tag team wrestling uh yeah. when you when you come let's say to america and AEW, you 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 compete in singles right do you have any aspirations for like big uh singles competition in japan or do you prefer tag team wrestling mm. これいいよねとか、トイストーリーのこういうのいいよねとか、あの、感性が合う。うん。から、なんだろう、試合中も気が合うというか、連携がうまくいく。うん。から、うん。強みになってるのかな。うん。So, <笑> um the thing with her tag team, the Magical Sugar Rabbits with Mizuki, uh it's special to her because she gets along with Mizuki both inside and outside the ring. Okay. Right? She, you know, they share similar hobbies and interests. They both like Aladdin. They both like Toy Story. They have four <laughs> four double team move, moves named after Toy Story. Uh -huh. You know, aptly Toy Story 1, 2, 3, and 4. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Perfect. Yes. And then they think alike and, you know, they can read each other's minds. And that's why uh, their tag team works so well. And that, uh, you know, the friendship extends both inside and outside the ring. The single what is it? Ah, Mizukitan?あの、純粋にシングル戦線でもうちょっとこう何か目指してることとか、シングルやる方が好きなのか、タッグやる方が好きなのか。うわ、どっちも好きだけど。うん、どっちも好きだけど。そうですね。でもヤ
we do love your tag team with uh, with Mizuki, the magical sugar rabbits. You guys are great. Uh, and uh, and I think it's great that you're still on a title run right now. But look, before we wrap things up here, I want to know what does the future hold for Yuka Sakazaki? She will cast a spell on all you American fans so that everybody will be happy. <laughs> Yeah, 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 absolutely. I, that, that, that's my kind of spell. I, I'm I, perfect. Yes, please do. Please do. Thank you very much. Th thank you very, very much, Yuka. I really, really appreciate you taking the time to come and talk with us today. I thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Arigato. And, and, and thank you as well, Mr. Haku, in the background as well. I really appreciate it. And thank you, everyone, for joining us today again here on Bell to Bells. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. I'm Mr. Warren Hayes, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>